Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be working on the Titan Fitness Rack back there and we've got a tricep pulley system that we purchased. Uh, yeah, we thought about making one kind of like we did in our last video, which I'll put somewhere up here if you want to check that out. Uh, but, but basically the prices have come down, the materials become available. It's almost just as cheap to buy this now as it is to make this. And we're probably gonna end up with a little better product in the end. So we ended up purchasing this. We had three pieces we had to purchase for the entire thing. We had the tricep pulley kit. We had the um, lower pulley kit. And then we had the bar, and I can't remember what the official name is of it. I'll link it here. Basically what holds the weights and what you clip your uh, pulley system to. So we bought those three pieces. Uh, they were probably around $100 for the entire set, maybe a little bit less. Uh, so it really, really was a, a fairly affordable and decent. Uh, so let's get into, uh, you know, how we install these. First of all, if you want to look up the manual online, uh, you can do that and uh, and I'll show you what comes in one of the boxes I bought. It didn't come in all the boxes, but there is actually a link to the manual. Now, be warned that manual's not real in depth. It's really just a picture that you could follow on how to set yours up, which is useful. It's very useful. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. All I really needed was, you know, a couple of uh, crescent combination type wrenches uh, to get this done. Uh, if you have those, that should be sufficient. Um, you could, you know, use a socket set or whatever, make it go faster for you. But it was really simple. You, you know, I mean, I tried some different mounts. Uh, I read in the reviews of this product how the mounts, if you turn them one way or another, you'll get more room for travel. That ended up not working for me, and I took a short video. Let's let's throw that one in right now. All right, guys, myth busted, I guess, at least for me. Everybody says to flip this pulley facing out to give you more room for the lineup and not hit this rail or these rails. But I think the problem's gonna be is due to this pulley being up higher and then the cable coming down, the cable's just gonna wear right here along this edge and it's gonna fray that cable and, and end its life quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that back off, flip it around, see how it, uh, see how it sets up. You know, in addition guys to the, the documentation, my pulleys just look different. As I sit here and I study these, like, on the low pulley side, or I'm sorry, on the tri-pulley side, this pulley right here appears to have the brace, I'll call it, coming up this way, and and the plate on the bottom, just like just like the the C part channel of the steel is here, except the brace is on the side. So Again, a little confusing by the documentation. So I'm thinking, you know, even though I flipped this around this way and it didn't work, I'm thinking maybe this piece needs to, needs to maybe go on top and have the pulley pointing up and then a line coming down. And I've got the same issue on my bottom one, it shows the C channel of the steel underneath and then the pulley support coming out the side. So it's almost like they've changed the design of the pulleys, I'm not sure. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Maybe, maybe there's just something I'm not seeing, uh, but I think I'm definitely going to try to flip this one up. The problem is on the bottom one, you can't get the C on the bottom because this pulley is just, it's, it, there's not enough room underneath it, right? I mean, it's just going to ram into the floor. Uh, and the rack is put together correctly, it looks like, because you can't turn that and then bolt the side braces on. So I'm thinking maybe the pulley design has changed a little bit. Not sure. 
I'm gonna mess around with it here for a second. Okay guys, I just don't think this is gonna work, right? Because if I need to go around the pulley, it's gonna come back here and it's gonna rub on here. So I've tried it a couple of different ways. Right? And I just, I'm just not seeing it. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to put it back the way it was. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, definitely the manual and the pulleys, you know, it's not real clear, or maybe I didn't get the correct ones. Um, let me know your thoughts. Okay, guys, back to the way it was. I think I think that's the way that we're going to have to keep it. Um, you know, we I guess I should have known. We do have the T3 series rack. Um, it does say that these, I just went and looked real quick online. It does say they're not compatible with a T2, but we definitely have a T3. Um, maybe I'm just screwing up pulley placement. So yeah, I'm sure you guys will point that out. <laughs> you never have a problem with that, but, but yeah, that's, I, I and I think this is going to work. Okay. You know, I mean, I'm six foot tall and, uh, these are off close enough to the side that I don't think anybody's going to hit their head on them. So, but yeah, I, I just, I, I just think I'm missing something. So yeah, let me know what you think. But So I went ahead and flipped it back just like they had it. Uh, you know, maybe you guys have a comment on that. Leave one below and let me know if, you know, if I misunderstood something or was it clear. But, you know, that cable getting in the way was really going to hinder the long term. One of the things you look out for is, you know, don't over tighten your pulleys. Just make sure you get those just right so you have some spacing to make sure it spins and, and you know, doesn't unevenly wear the pulley or, or wear it away. Pretty simple procedure, uh, works great. We've tested it out. I'll put some, uh, some of the tests in, but yeah, highly recommend it. I'll put links down below. Uh, you know, if you're not gonna make something, check this out, it worked out well. Now this is our handle that we made out of trampoline bar recycled from an old trampoline, basically is the, the bars that hold it up. Uh, we 3D printed ends on these and we just put like an eye bolt um, right there in the middle and bolted it on together so we could put the uh, attachments to it that way. So pretty simple. Uh, the bend was already there. We didn't even have to bend it. We just cut it uh, equal sides from the bend uh, to make that. One more important point, uh, guys, is you want to put your weights off of this pulley inside of the rack. So the load pin, which is this thing right here, you want to put right here. And then you want to pull from the outside of the rack down here because otherwise your uh, all your weights are going to hit these bars. So... 
that seems to work for us and and that's the way we showed in our example so quick quick point uh i read that on some of the reviews too so other people were having that problem that that seems to work best hey guys that's all we have for today thanks for watching really appreciate it uh this is really just the summary video you know i didn't want to go into detail of turning every bolt you, you know doing it's pretty simple let's face it you just need a couple of crescent wrenches adjustable wrenches to do this you can use more in-depth tools but basic tools are they're definitely going to get it done really really easy and simple i think i will release a full install video if anybody's interested in that uh just check the channel uh it, it'll be coming up soon maybe just do it in a fast motion you know to show the the basics of, of how we put this together but again really simple not not really in-depth and, and something, you know, that's that's going to be well within the DIY of, of anybody that can handle a couple tools. So, again, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks. For, uh, subscribe. You know, all that good stuff. Share the videos. Appreciate you guys. Uh, we will talk to you soon.